Alright, so what's up you guys? Uh, so I'm out here at Jerry's shop again. And if you're watching this, you probably already know this is part two to how to build your bottom end for the KA24DE. And I'm also building it for turbo, so I guess you could probably say this is KA24DET. So, uh, in the last video we covered putting the crankshaft in, which is right there. And in this segment of the video, we're going to be covering putting your pistons and rods in. So that's what we're doing right now. We're about to drop all the pistons and rods in. We'll cover the torque specs, what you guys got to tighten them down to, the rod bolts, everything like that. And then thus completing, building the bottom end, and then preparing to drop the head on. So basically, to start off, you're going to need your pistons and rods, and you're going to want to separate the end caps off of both your piston and rods. Like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The end caps, these things right here. These go on here, right here. So you're gonna separate these. And the reason you wanna do that is so that you can put your rod bearings on. So those bearing things that we used for the block, we got smaller ones for the rods. And here they are right there, so nice and fresh. So basically, you just wanna take these out and just like if you watched part one of the video, you're gonna to want to clean off your rods right here, this area, and then the end caps, and you're gonna to want to slide these bearings on there and lubricate them. Sorry to keep on going, you guys, but uh, there's a little groove. You wanna match the little groove on these, on the bearings. You wanna match the little groove up on the bearings to the groove on the end cap and the rod, so. Once you get that on, lubricate them, and then keep them apart, and then we'll be ready to start dropping them into the block. Over here, I have my piston ring compressor. So, there's this type of compressor, and then there is the other type, which is like a wind-up type, which basically, you'll fit this around the piston itself, and it'll compress the piston rings so that you're able to push it down into the cylinder right here. So, it makes it a lot easier um, than trying to try and do it with your hands, which basically it's impossible. So. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people can do it, but it, it would probably take a long, long ass time. So I, I invested in this piece or this tool, which basically I just set the piston down in here and it's basically a one size, though I was about to say one size fits all, but that's definitely not the case. It's total opposite. Um, this tool only works with one size. So as you see, I got mine for 90 millimeter, which is the size bore that I have for my cylinder right here which are the size of the pistons I got. So that's what this works with. So I'll just slide those pistons right up in here and I'll just pop them right down into the cylinder versus trying to fight and hassle with the, uh, with the other cylinder, like the piston ring compressor tool. So yeah, so basically that's how we're gonna start this off. We're going to set this piston into the piston ring compressor. But when we do this, we want this little dot right here on the piston if you can see that you want that little dot to be facing the front of the KA the front of the engine so that is this way so you want the dot to be facing that way also so I'll drop it in like that this is number one so when I do when I do number one it'll go right here the dot will be facing forward so let's get started
All right, you guys, so once you get the rods in here, they'll pop up right here on the bottom of the, uh, the block. And what you're gonna wanna do is take your end caps right here, and you're gonna wanna drop them on top of this. And make sure that the end caps are the right way and on the right rod. So let's say this end cap is what originally came on this rod right here. You're gonna wanna match this one with this. But also, you're gonna wanna have this end cap facing the right way that it originally came on the rod. So if it came like this, you're gonna wanna put it together like this. But if if you have it like this, just, just flip the round, that's not correct, you guys. So however the rod originally came to you, or however you took it off the original crankshaft, you need to have it set back to the original specs that you got it in, or you ever took it off the KA. So, Manly has numbers engraved on it, and basically the numbers engraved line up on the, on the same side, and also the numbers are to tell which rod it came off of, so I don't get these mixed up. So that's very crucial, and you wanna make sure that you get those on the right rod facing the right direction. So that's all I'm about to do now. I'm about to drop these on the rods right now, and drop down some of these rod bolts, but I'm not gonna start tightening it yet, so just wait until I get to that step, you guys, before you guys start to tighten it. So, yeah, I'm gonna drop these on here right now. All right, you guys, so I got this end cap on, I got this end cap on, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these rod bolts out, and I'm gonna take my torque lube right here, and I'm gonna put it on the threads of the rod bolts, and then I'm gonna drop the rod bolts in there and just thread them with my hand right fast. Once you get these hand tightly in there, like literally hand tight, you're gonna wanna take a, let's see here, an 11 millimeter socket, and you're gonna want to tighten them down, like securely, but not, not really, really, really tight, because you gotta torque it to spec, which is 65 foot-pounds. So just tighten them down equally, so a couple turns, a couple turns, like back and forth until the end caps are down equally, and then you want to take the torque wrench and torque them to spec, which is 65 foot-pounds. Once you tighten these down, then you basically just gotta rotate the crank, which could, it could be a challenge to rotate the crank now that you got these tightened up in here. But if you, for the KA, it has the, let's see if I can find it. Basically you need the little key thing, which is this right here. It goes on the top of the crank. This is my old crank from the old block. This key thing right here. You can get like a adjustable wrench or whatnot on it and you can end up twisting the crank. And then what you want to do is twist the crank around to where you can get the other ones and uh, put the other end caps on to where they're like up here. Not really down there because it's not really as efficient. And you don't want to try and use, even though I use the extension on this torque wrench, it's better not to use the extension so you get the right torque spec. So just twist the crank and you just gotta repeat these uh, steps that you did on these and just come like repeat it again and basically that's it then you'll be done building the block and you can move on to installing the head or whatever else you want to install but I will have future videos about what I'm gonna be doing next with the block so just continue on with building the KA 
please do like and subscribe if it did help or if you liked the video and stay tuned you guys because I'm about to put the head on next for my next video uh, dealing with the KA so yeah